Christy, thank you. Well, artificial intelligence is everywhere. It's even found its way into schools. And to talk about that, I'm joined by Renee Lane. She is the Director of Secondary Education for Spartanburg District 6. Thank you so much for being here, Renee. Oh, you're welcome, no problem. So let's hop right into it. How can parents help educators combat the rise in AI? It's not always a positive thing in the classroom. No, it's not always a positive thing. And I think the um, most important thing for parents is that they educate themselves on what these platforms look like, use them themselves, and then help back up the teachers when they are talking to kids about it in the classroom. Awesome, so what are some signs your student is becoming too dependent on AI uh, to, to complete their assignments? Well, I think the first sign is they're doing assignments really quickly. Oh. Uh, so they're not taking time to work through the assignments. Um, another good clue is that they're using their computer solely. Um, we want to see them writing and learning and working and um, not necessarily just uh, Googling and chat GPT. <laughs> yeah, and let's talk about chat GPT. I know yeah. that's just one <laughs> form of AI that mm -hmm. students are trying to use in the classroom. Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about that at all? It is one form. Um, there are a lot of different platforms and because it is an artificial intelligence, um, they can do it kind of on the sly sometimes, so you have to watch them. Um, and it produces everything from essays to science projects to conversations to presentations. So what are some of the dangers of our students becoming too reliant on AI when completing assignments? Well, I think the biggest danger is that they are crippling themselves in their ability to problem solve and to use things like scientific method and writing process. And those are skills that they are going to need in their life, in college, in the workplace. And we wanna make sure that they are developing those at younger ages and not becoming dependent on something that's gonna do it for them. And how are you kind of equipping and training teachers to have a watchful eye for AI? It's hard to tell, I think, when yeah. something is AI versus real. Yeah, <laughs> so, correct. So how are you equipping <laughs> teachers to kind of be on the lookout? Well, this? the first thing we ask teachers to do is use it themselves, which is okay. the same thing we would ask parents to do. You know, learn what um, it produces. Um, the second thing teachers are really good at is learning kids' voices in their work. And so sometimes that's a big clue that they're maybe using these things instead of doing it themselves. Interesting, smart thing yeah. to look for. So really quickly, let's talk about the positive mm -hmm. ways AI mm -hmm. can be used in the classroom yeah. and in the school. Is it being used in Spartanburg District 6 at all in a positive way? It is, and there are some positives to it. Um, you know, these platforms can help kids who need um, more support. It can help them um, sometimes in breaking down math problems and giving them a framework for their writing. It can help teachers in, some, in their grading in repetitive tasks. So it's not all bad, but we just have to use it as a tool and not everything. Yeah, and I know it's constantly evolving, so we're going to be is. adapting to it. Well, yes, absolutely. Renee Lane, thank you so much for You're joining right. us. I know Spartanburg <laughs> students start next Monday, Monday so yes. we wish you a very happy school year. Thank, thank you for you being too. with us. To My talk pleasure. About this. Thank you. And school is